Well, I'm the executive director of 100 Black Men of Indianapolis, uh, which means I'm responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the organization. So I get involved in everything, in all the programs that we do. And Summer Academy specifically, I've always been involved in the Summer Academy committee. And that's where we do the planning. And that's where we critique uh, the prior year and identify opportunities for the upcoming year. Our mission is to make sure that we give the young people a positive summer experience in a safe environment and that we challenge them academically so that when they go back to school they will have nothing less than maintain their skill levels if not improve them. Uh, we only have them for seven weeks so you can't do a whole lot in seven weeks. In fact we've seen data that shows that while students may achieve at a different level uh, based on economics, over the summer those that are in the higher income level continue to achieve or maintain where they are and those that are less blessed economically tend to deteriorate so that the next year you find there's a wider gap when they start to uh, start their uh, school. I think that's a prime example of the importance of having the kind of uh, academy that we provide. We found partners have been able to help us achieve these kinds of things. The partners here uh, with the 100 Black Men Summer Academy include um, St. Vincent's Unity Development Center. Uh, we have a program with Art with the Heart. That's our art program. We also have uh, partnerships with Project Seed. They help us with our math curriculum. Uh, the GEO Foundation helps provide us with a um, reading and math curriculum and provide us with some laptops. And we also have several volunteers uh, who come in from the community to volunteer with our program. This partnership is awesome uh, with 100 Black Men and St. Vincent Health. We've been doing this for 13 years and just having this partnership has just been great because it gives us opportunity to blend all of our, uh, our talents from both sides, uh, actually to blend uh, our resources, blending those services together, our expertise, uh, it just makes a stronger network delivering the service that we want to deliver in the community. I think our uh, summer academy is different than many summer camps in that we've always uh, expressed an academic purpose for part of the day. Um, that's not something that's just been added. It's something that's been with us for more than 20 years. I think what makes the Summer Academy unique is that uh, the students are here and it's, it, the focus is academics. It's not a camp. Expectations for students um, vary uh, in terms of academics. Um, the expectation is consistent growth, um, a lot of hard work, um, a dutiful kind of daily regimen of all of the subjects, um, so that would be language arts, reading, math, science, um, and, and also performing arts. And then in terms of behavior, we have expectations too of respect, um, self-discipline, um, positivity. We've been working a lot on positive community building, so no put-downs, no name-calling, um, you know, restating the positive and, and rethinking it every single day. We have a choice between positive and negative, and we're choosing positive. Most of our students uh have never been in an environment where there is 100% uh, black educators. And to see that on a day-to-day -day basis, to see the professionalism, to see the high expectations, but also to see uh, that we are real people, I believe that impact is immeasurable. Our staff is all African-American here. So we are seeing that they're seeing those positive male role models there. They're seeing the positive female role models. They know that education is really important. We've all got degrees here. All the teachers are certified. Uh, so, and if there's an assistant, the assistants either have college done or they're in the process of um, going to college. So we stress to them how important that is. And sometimes in our culture, that's not really stressed too much. <laughs> so we're definitely combating that here and showing them you have a plethora of opportunities available for you. The academic portion of Summer Academy makes it unique from any other camp or academy. Um, I know that it's summertime and a lot of students go to camps for sports and athletics and to have fun, but the fact that Summer Academy, that St. Vincent Hospital 100 Black Men 
encourage the never-ending process of learning and Summer Academy gives you a really good deal for the entire summer that your child is here. Very affordable. The purpose of field trips here at the Academy is enrichment. Uh, some of it can be, be fun, but, but all the field trips we've taken so far have been educational. They've all learned something uh, from the experience and have been able to do different things uh, to gain from the experience. My children's favorite aspect is the field trips. Uh, they had to go on at least 10 or 15 field trips this summer, so they have the proper balance so that it still feels like it's summer, uh, but they're learning at the same time. Every Friday we get a, a progress report of how he is doing, and I really appreciate that. It tells me where he is on the level of reading and on writing and what they've covered, and then I get all his paperwork, and then we have to sign for it. It's like report card, and it gives me positive feedback weekly, and it keeps me updated on how he's doing in the Summer Academy. We have many, many funding partners. Uh, most of them operate through the Summer Youth Program, which is coordinated by the Lilly Endowment. And we're very appreciative for those supporters, but I must tell you that it costs to provide a quality program. When we don't get the funding necessary, then we have to cut back on the number of youth that we serve. We never cut back on the quality of the program, but we cut back on the number of youth we're able to serve, which again is a problem because there's so many out there that during the summer that need our services. This academy is important because we have to assure that our students continue to grow. I personally don't believe you can just rely on your traditional schools. Uh, as a community, we have to support our children. And the, the academy shows how the community can support the children, allowing them to go back into the school systems and be successful. We're touching their lives in a lot of different ways not just academically, but we're helping build them up socially, uh, helping them learn how to interact with one another, how to resolve issues that they may have uh, so that they're prepared for life. Um, we're also building character in a lot of the kids um, and also trying to give them some sense of stability uh, so that when they go back to school in the fall, they have a nice firm foundation.